I see a lot of uh, corals being bleached, and what I saw really scares me. Tu, rasa macam ke sayang kau zanah laut kan? Semua tengok mati apa koral mati apa. Bila koral mati tu dia umpama macam hidup jadi kala. It's scary because this island is virtually uninhabited. In a place where it's almost untouched and you're already seeing humans impact on the environment. I don't know whether we're going to have the opportunity to reverse this. Mohamad Jasmi, orang panggil Jas. Saya bagian nelayan kawasan Abad Lipo. Saya Ahmad Nazrul, kawan-kawan panggil Yo. Dulu ikan memang banyak. Lepas ini pun kita pernah datang macin sini. Dulu kita pakai macin. Bukan ini kurang, jangan. Kita dapat macin. Tapi macin dapat banyak ikan. Jadi nak pergi dapat ikan banyak, apa ke jauh sana. Lagi jauh lagi dapat ikan banyak. I've been here a number of times since three years ago. And I, I remember coming here and going back and telling people, wow, Bidong is pristine, it's untouched. Today coming back here, we took, uh, we took a dive yesterday at some of the sites uh, on the more remote part of the island. I see a lot of uh, corals being bleached. In the more popular parts of the area, we see plastic and trash coming in. For us, if we can clean, we can clean. But here, uh, issue with us, minyak, kalau orang tu buang minyak. Once you buang minyak, they spread too fast. Ada kapal buang minyak, satu kawasan ni semua selaput buang minyak. So bila selaput buang minyak, we don't have any corals. They all hitam. Kalau tak ada dia, mungkin ombak dia dia ada lain, arus dia ada lain. Dia macam kalau atas dagat ni macam pokok-pokok. Korang mati banyak kan? Ikan pun mungkin macam berkurang kan? Untuk-untuk nak layang apa, nak dapat tu payah. When people started uh, being aware of conservation is mostly one way. Meaning that the conservationists, they look at the impact on the environment and they tell everybody to stop. But the problem is they don't look at the community. To the community is the livelihood. What we try to do in, uh, in, with this initiative is that we try to make the community a part of the conservation group. There is also another income stream that you can consider when you conserve coral. And that to the to the community is good because hey you know I can earn more money now I can I can I can do other things uh, and I can also help the environment which is also something that they are very particular about. Ah, buah buah tu jadi kita tengok korang hal mati buat sesuatu saya. Ah, macam mana boleh mati tu? Tu lah kita pasal lah kita nak balik atau untuk pulih balik. Kita join ni kita tahu baru ada baru korang ni itu berharga. Sebelum ni kita tak tahu apa pun. Ya, Korea ni berharga, boleh diniaga. So what we do is we work very closely with fishermen and we educate them on coral conservation and we train them to become coral farmers so that they are trained to pick out corals, they are trained to take care of corals and they are trained to commercialize the corals. We provide uh, the bridge to knowledge and, and information uh, online and to the world and to each other. So through connectivity, we do that. But we take it to the next level by increasing the connections between um, communities and, and uh, people of, uh, who share the same passions and who want to preserve that for future generations. The proposition here is one way that is unique and because it enhances the color and uh, maintain the color. If you compare with the other tempat, they just want to grow just like that. Every day, it's definitely bleaching. It's definitely bleaching. 
So if that was environment issues we cannot control. But we make sure benda yang bleaching yang rosak ni tak lagi dikontributkan dengan lagi lebih teruk oleh manusia. Bila kita buat propagation, kita tak ambil di Indo eh. Table coral yang besar, kalau tengok table coral besar, we only take the hujung-hujung saja. The main Indo kita biarkan. Alhamdulillah, we already have uh, about 1,002 uh, corals propagated and we are targeting about 6,005 to be uh, as the result towards the end of the year. As a diver, uh, the first thing that we're taught is not to touch anything in the ocean. Some divers, they see what we do here in terms of coral conservation, right? They see we are actually touching the corals. Uh, the method is somewhat invasive. You have to actually pluck a coral from the wild and take it up into the surf on the surface and then break it down into smaller chunks about one inch in, in size and then plant them back in the ocean somewhere so that they'll grow. Um, for me as a diver, when I first came, it's, it's a bit counterintuitive. It's like, oh my God, you're, you shouldn't do that. And oh my God, these are living things. You shouldn't hurt them. Uh, so that's, that's a misconception. Saya ni layak pak laut ni macam kehidupan saya. Dunia saya di dalam laut. Dan laut ni kita tahu bila laut kadang macam ni oh laut ni kena rapat kita. Ha. Kena sebat layang cari rezeki. Ha, kita pak rezeki kita cari. Ha. Pak layang cari rezeki kita kena kena pelihara lah. Kena jaga elok-elok kerana ni. When I see corals being destroyed in, in front of my own eyes, I can see the difference in just within two years. It's scary. The thing I really love to do that might go away if, if I don't do something about it. See, it's like your life, what? Our, my life actually, it's everybody life. Kan, kalau rosak satu, it will rosak the whole item. You tak boleh nak buat apa-apa pun. Kita bagi pihak uh, YCN, kira macam ke suruh rakyat Malaysia ni jaga lah korang uh, dalam laut ni. Korang yang kita ni semakin lama semakin habis. Mungkin uh, generasi akan datang tak akan tengok lagi korang. Tak dapat uh, nak tengok. Kalau kita tak jaga dia, memang lama-lama kita tak dapat tengok lah. So if I'm just the only one, you feel helpless. You feel like, how can I make a difference, right? So joining the foundation, getting more people to be aware of the coral, talking to you, hopefully can make a difference. And you know, at the very least, that's what we need to do. We have maybe over 30 million people to make an impact in Malaysia with regards to coral conservation. And I think we should, we should do something about it.